What's poppin' everyone? We are back on Pokemon Showdown for the next OU Live, and I have here a team built around a suggestion from you guys from the last video, which was our Relicanth OU Live, so I hope you all enjoyed that one. Now, I am honored to present you all with a Pokemon here known as Chinese Armaldo. Nice cursed three attacks with this very intricate Eevee spread. Now, this Eevee spread here will allow us to tank physical hits really well, and with curse we can boost our attack and defense. So that can be pretty nice with leftovers in conjunction of healing ourselves residually over time while getting even bulkier and even more powerful. This thing will get slower though, so I do have Aqua Jet as priority, which is going to be kind of weak, but even especially in the sun, it's going to be really weak. But once the sun wears off, because sun doesn't last forever, and then we also have a chance of facing rain teams and sand teams and other stuff like that, so Aqua Jet is pretty cool for priority, which is kind of unique on this thing. It's really... Uh, Unique sort of move, a lot of people don't expect it uh, to run Aqua Jet, Curse Aqua Jet. Uh, then we have Rock Blast. Rock Blast is our main stab move, which can hit multiple times. I opted this over Stone Edge because I kind of like the multi-hitting uh, purpose of this move. And then we have Earthquake, which is great versus Heatrans and Magearnas and other such Pokemon like Tapu Koko, for instance. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty bulky mon on the physical side. As you can see, I had to make sure this uh, HP and defense are balanced uh, to make the optimal Eevee spread for this uh, for this Chinese Armaldo. Then we have Torkoal, which is our sun setter for the team. So this is actually a Armaldo sun squad. And I'm rocking Torkoal that can get us the drought ability to make our uh, our, our sun that we need for Venusaur. Um, so we have Stealth Rocks Rapid Spin, two attacks. Pretty bulky Pokemon with the Heat Rock to extend our sun turns. Then we have here a type of Finny. And Finny, of course, has the purpose of defogging. Can't always rely on a spinner as your only form of hazard control. So I do like Finny is in the sense that it can actually defog pretty reliably and give us a great uh, switch into Ash Greninja. Then we have, of course, we have Venusaur. This thing is the main sort of sweeper for the team. And a lot of teams are very unprepared to face a Chlorophyll Venusaur, especially with Poison EMZ, which can uh, break past a lot of Pokemon that can otherwise maybe check it and take a hit from it. So that's always nice there. Then we have Lando T, which is our Choice Scarfer. For, this, uh, for, the, for the team, of course, because we already have a Defogger in Type of Fini, and we have a Rapid Spear in Torkoal. I opted just four attacks with uh, our last move being Boom, Explosion, and then finally Heatran, which is a very unique mon in this, uh, in this team. It is a Choice Specs Eruption Heatran. In the sun, it will Oko so many things, even Pokemon that are resistant to it, and it'll like 2 it KO Pex, 2 it KO Chansey in the sun, it, it's crazy. I, I definitely love Choice Specs Heatran. One of my favorite sets in Sun. So let's go ahead and grab a game. See how we do with Armaldo. Hopefully we can see it put in work here. And ultimately the goal, you know, is, just, is to try to see uh, some screen time from Armaldo. Um, now we got our first game here. And we're going to be taking on a pretty standard squad. He does have a Heatran though, which we have to get rid of in order for the rest of our team to put in work. Uh, so I think I'll just lead here with Tapu Fini. I do have water moves on my team, even though it's a sun team. But um, like I said, you know, don't always have to set the sun up first. Like for instance, Healy's Greninja. This could be Protean, so I definitely want to scout for the Gunk Shot. I could go into Torkoal here to scout for it. As he um, actually reveals U-Turn. And he's non-Protean. Non-Protean U-Turn. So he brings in Lando. I can probably switch out here into my own Lando T. I don't know which one has rocks, either his Landers or my, or his Heatran has rocks. I'll go into my Lando here. He tries to Earthquake. So he may or may not be locked in. He's definitely not locked in, I think. But I can switch out here into, actually probably Armaldo here, right? Probably Armaldo. This thing looks a little offensive. That kind of did some damage. Like, it could be a Z-move. So I got up a curse here. And actually, that's not bad because we can live... We can live hits for Medicham, I think. We can definitely take a hit from this now. Probably Earthquake here. We're 441 attack. He Drain Punch. That is, that is 31. And that does 63. Ooh. Ooh, not bad. Aqua Jet probably won't knock it out, though, from this range. So I have to Earthquake again. And then I can pick it off with the jet probably after, even though it's in the sun. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. He goes back to Lando. 
So we definitely got a little scared of this Armaldo there, switched out of Medicham. Yo, Armaldo puts in work. Armaldo puts in some good work here. So let me uh, let me Rock Blast here. So we know for a fact he's not locked in. I don't know what what kind of what what, what is his last move? It could be a Z move. But he actually goes back to Medicham. <laughs> this will knock it out. Yep. Okay. Well, then I guess it's time to show off our Aqua Jet tech here. Show off our nice Aqua Jet tech. Knock out Medicham. Beautiful. And we're getting we're getting even healthier now. We're getting way healthier. Uh, this thing cannot take a hit from Greninja, unfortunately. So we are going to switch out here into our Tapu Fini to take this hit and he goes right for the U-turn. So that was a good play on his part. I actually could have stayed in, but there was no way I was going to do that. <laughs> There's no way. Um, so Superior comes in here. So we can go into our Torkoal. Torkoal gets to come in here. We get to uh, take this Leaf Storm decently well, decently well. Um, not the best. He will Leech Seed though as we Lava Plume. Do a ton of damage to this thing. Uh, he could potentially have Glare, but I'm not sure if he would or not. Um, another play is going for Rapid Spin here. Get rid of the Leech Seeds, and then... Um, we'll be faster with our own Lando, so I'm not I'm not too worried right now. I definitely want to save uh, Torkoal. So the question is, who do we sack? Probably Heatran. I mean, we could easily go Heatran here. I don't know what his last move is though. Uh, Leaf Storm Miss doesn't matter too much. We are times four neutral. I could click, I could click Eruption here, but um, yeah, actually I could. <laughs> I could just click Eruption, knock it out. So we erupted versus that uh, that Serp. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it would have done like at least 300 to 400 percent damage. Uh, he's gonna bring in Lando here. Probably U-turn into his... Well, actually, I don't know if he's going to U-turn or not. But I'm going to go here into my own Lando. He tries to Earthquake. And... We should be able to... I mean, I could even I could even boom here. I could even click that explosion. If I wanted to. But I don't. But I don't. Um, I'm going to go here into Armaldo. As the U turns out, goes into Greninja. Easy switch to Finny here versus uh, this Pokemon as he hydros. Um, Surf is pretty free because he's gonna go Heatran expecting like Moonblast or something. So that works out pretty well. I can just get a lot of damage on the Heatran, which is gonna be really useful. And we are actually faster, so we can get off the faster defog. I expect... Yeah, he actually stays in. Okay, he stays in. Gets off a flash cannon. He goes for the protect. So we definitely want to keep rocks off the field. Now that this thing is uh, super, super weak. Nice. He actually uh, just gave it up. That is really good. Lando T comes back in here. Um, honestly, at this point in time... Oh, he actually Z's here. With the Sky Strike. I'm gonna go Torkoal. Get the sun up. Back into Lando we go now. I think, well, I don't know if this is Sash Sam or not, but as long as we keep Venusaur alive, we, we shouldn't lose to uh, Greninja. I miss my Stone Edge. He HP Ices. So he actually does not have U-Turn. I'm going to get off a Rock Blast here. Get that nice little chip. Good chip damage. And knock out the Landers, which is fantastic, fantastic. So Armaldo 
Armaldo put in some work. Armaldo definitely did. I'm gonna save actually I'm, I'm actually gonna save Armaldo for chip damage. Which might be useful. Might very well be useful. He actually doubles the Zam here, okay. So I expect him to be sashed. We will click a uh, Lava Plume. Sun boosted Lava Plume is going to do a ton. I don't want to click Eruption because if my HP, if he actually stayed and attacked and my HP went down, I would have lost. But actually, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I tanked this too. And that was a crit. That was a crit on Hydro. A crit on Hydro lived. That's beautiful. So I can, yep, literally just go into my landers here, which is Choice Scarfed. I'm going to get the last knockout with Armaldo, so I'm going to boom here. He is Sashed. And then, <laughs> Sash counter. I like it, I like it. Armaldo can pick this Pokemon off with the Aqua Jet and win the game. Yup, and that is going to be GG. So Armaldo came through in this match, knocked out half of his team basically, or with the help of other months, but it still did some good work here. And um, we can move on to our next one. And hopefully we get to see Armaldo putting in work in this game, which is a Seismitoad squad. So hopefully he has Chinese Seismitoad, Chinese Seismitoad out here. I'm going to pray that it is. So let me just lead. Uh, Tapu Fini. It's a good lead because of his potential leads being Medicham, Seismitoad, and stuff. We have Defog on this too. Let me get my uh, Calm Mind off here first. Then Defog. To uh, force it out. I assume he'd be forced out. Yep, yep. Get some damage off with the Surf. And if he ever clicks like Heart Swap or something, then we know for a fact that... Nah, he's AV. Then we know for a fact that our heat is probably faster. So I assume now, yeah, he's gonna go into like, I don't know, Zapdos, perhaps Zapdos or something. And we can like get the sun up pretty easily. We could probably get the sun up. A lot of options we have here. Oh, Medicham, <laughs> this was your last mistake. Fake out. I can heal that all the way back up. Nope, back to Magirna. Um, I want more damage on this thing. We can hit for the uh, Venusaur. Because th this thing is AV, so my plus 2 growth and sun can't knock it out in one hit. Um, he's going to fake out here. I'm still out of range of a Zen. I am indeed still out of range. Yep, like that. And Medicham gone. That thing... Is gone is uh, just, uh, that's really good. That's really really good. Okay, Lando is in now, so we're gonna go into our own Landers. I expect him to earthquake here, or he actually U-turns, so he gets to go back in a Seismitoad as we get to go in a Finny, and then essentially Defog here. He'll knock us out, but then we get to force him out with Venusaur. But then check this out, right? Check this play out. We're gonna actually double here into Torkoal. And then we get to go into Lando on his Vol Switch. Yo, check these plays out, right? Check these plays out. Okay, yep. And then we're going to U-turn here, predicting his... Uh, okay, Seismito to come in. Yep, there we go. Back into Venusaur now. And now we got the sun up. <laughs> now we got the whole sun up. And now we're going to click Growth here. Because at this point in time, I think we just win. Yep, brings in Lando. I'm pretty sure a plus two Giga Drain knocks him out, especially if he's offensive. We are guaranteed faster than it, I think. Or at least I think we should be. Yup, yup, that's gone. Zapdos coming in here. This is the Mon I think we click uh, the Z move on. Yup. That thing is gone. Though I think Blacephalon probably lives a hit though. But nah, he just goes to Seismitoad. Ghost is resistant to poison. 
thankfully we come through we come through all right nice um now i guess we go into actually no we just sack here prevent him from <laughs> getting behind the sub because i think we can just knock him out with uh with armaldo actually oh we can knock him out with armaldo with the aqua jet and i'm gonna do that right now pick this blacephalon off with the armaldo to win the game and that will of course be gg it is armaldo nice nice excellent fantastic That is what I like to see. Oh, the, the nice standard, standard squad. Very standard team. So how do we win? Armaldo can probably... I don't know how we're going to check the, uh, the uh, this thingy. Halucha, but we can sure try. I want to see if I can burn this. Lava Plume is pretty... Actually, fire moves are pretty nice versus his team, if I'm being honest. Fire moves are looking kind of nice. And he goes hard Lando, yep. <laughs> he was thinking what his fire switching was. Actually, this Lando kind of took it pretty well. I definitely think it's... Uh, probably defensive, maybe? I don't know. I don't see an item. He gets up rocks here. Yeah, there's my burn. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate my burn. U turns out as we can just rapid spin. Nice. So he goes Tapu Coco. We have a uh, Landers we can go into here. As he tries to Vol Switch, and now we can click uh, U turn on his own Lando, which is actually Helmet. So let's just uh, go here to Venusaur to, I guess, knock it out with HP Fire. Yeah, and he doesn't go he doesn't go Magirna or anything, which is good info. I don't know if it's a setup set or what. Oh, he actually goes Halucha now. He actually went Halucha. <laughs> he actually tried to set up an SD on Venusaur. This thing is gone. <laughs> this thing is absolutely gone. And then Kiram Black comes in here. Okay, so versus Kiram. Versus Kiram. So he might go for the ice move here. Yo, I'm going I'm to have to outplay a little bit. A little bit here and there. We're going to outplay. Finny can probably take this pretty well. Pretty decently. Yo, peep this play, right? Switching to Lando here on this fusion. You turn out into uh, Torkoal to get the sun back up again. And uh, take this hit pretty well. A Stealth Rocks could be kind of nice. Yup, limit the Kirim switch-ins now. And then um, we can go here. Uh, let's see. What do I not need? I don't know. Everything's kind of useful, right? Everything's kind of useful on this team. Let's say I go Lando here. Yep, on the high jump kick. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I guess. Um, so here he'd probably, what, Ice Punch or something? So he's intimidated. So I think we could U-turn. I think we could U-turn or we could just Earthquake. It's always another option. Get like as much damage as we can on this thing. Then just pick it off with the Venusaur. Good old uh, HP Fire on his Magirna switch in. Which uh, does a decent chunk. That's a decent chunk for sure. I still don't know if he has Ice Beam or not, but I'm going to just hit him up with this move. He does have Ice Beam, but it's all good. I can save you. Probably go into... So, okay, so Medicham is very, very weak. Very, very weak right now. He does Vol Switch here. Into Coco he goes. One turn of Sun left. And... I don't mind the electric terrain actually. I don't mind the terrain. He can he can knock me out here. That's fine, perfectly fine. 
because I don't even need a sun boosted uh actually you this is great <laughs> this is actually great i'm gonna go armaldo then <laughs> nice nice gave me medicine <laughs> yo the moment he went into that i was smiling um okay so definitely save armaldo that's kind of a win con <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of a win con right kind of so he thunderbolts knocks us out i think this is choice specs uh for sure so we get to go into Venusaur here. We get to click that uh, that Giga Drain maybe for Chip. Because that kind of puts it in range of the HP Fire, I think. Pretty sure it does. Yep. Perfect, perfect. In comes Kiram. I wonder, does the Sludge Bomb take it out? Probably does. Oh no, it doesn't. Never mind. He roosts though. He roosts. It's actually Kiram. Uh, sorry, Heatran comes in here. I think we uh, we definitely take this hit. You definitely take the hit. Flash cannons to knock him out here. Last Pokemon is gonna be that Kiram. That's gonna be GG. So nice. Uh, very nice game there. And um, yeah, once again, this team putting in the finest of work. I've been testing this team out a bunch. Um, even though I made it pretty recently, I've been doing really well with it on a different account. It's um, it's climbed pretty high, pretty pretty high, on the uh, on the OU ladder. Uh, so now we have a team with, I think he might have Sun. It might be Zard. No, actually, it could be Zard X. I think it's Zard X. In any case, um, this is a Protean. Greninja, so I'm leading Torkoal. As he actually leads Starmie. Good lead, good lead. I'm going to go uh, Hard Type of Finny here. Hard Type of Finny. So I, it, it really kind of looks like <laughs> Venusaur just clicks Sludge Bomb on everything for a ton of damage. This is a Life Orb Starmie. Okay, okay. So there's no way I can go into Venusaur just yet. So we get some damage with the uh, with the moon blast here. Star me something I haven't seen in a long time though. Have not seen that Pokemon in a long time. So he actually surfs here. I don't know what he was predicting. This is a uh, the sunlight is out. I don't know. I don't know what he was predicting there. Maybe the uh, I don't know Armaldo. <laughs> I have no idea why he clicks surf there. But um, but we take those. I'm just gonna moonblast here for some damage. Um, go into my Lando T as he tries to earthquake me. Beautiful. I can now click um, Stone Edge of my own and miss. So that's always nice. And then he booms on my Finny. But I can Rapid Spin. Like, I can I can Rapid Spin later on. I can definitely Rapid Spin. Um, so Gren comes in here. Don't know if this is Scarf or not, but it probably is Choice Scarf. So I won't be able to use Eruptions, I think, but... Can definitely flash cannon versus the finny nice choice specs flash cannon doing 57 percent that's some good damage yeah how much you, how much is it gonna do to you 46 hey not bad not bad not bad at all get to go torco here as the dragon dances up he can't knock me out in one hit though i don't think i can knock him out either in one hit but i will have to try dragon claws me okay good damage Knocks me out. We get to go into Venusaur now. Venusaur are going to be faster than the rest of his team, bar Halucha. But like I said, we got Armaldo in the back. Armaldo might be able to check Halucha to an extent. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But he went into Finny for the purpose probably of trying to uh, go Halucha right after. I think that's kind of his only choice. So there it is. 
Alucha comes out here. We have the Z move here. Let's see if he's smart enough to, okay, bulk up. Every single Halucha tries to set up versus Venusaur. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, but he actually lived it. Ooh, he lived. This one actually lived. But this will be his last mistake. Because I have to sack Lando, right? He will acrobatics. We have our Maldo, which will pick it off with the Aqua Jet. And it should still actually knock it out in Sun. Yeah, it does. It does. Okay, good, good, good. I was a little worried about the plus one defense there with the Sun. That's GG. Ooh, ending it off on the Armaldo. Armaldo clicking that uh, Aqua Jet there. That is what I like to see. That is most certainly what I like to see. And now this guy's team, right? This guy's team is looking uh, is looking super weak to uh, Armaldo once we get rid of Greninja and Scizor and Finny and Tangrowth. Yeah. I don't know what I was trying to say there. I guess I was trying to say maybe Venusaur once we get rid of Heatran. But um, but let's get right into it. And lead Finny. Try to soften up this Heatran a bit with our uh, with our Surf. And if we could do that, then we'll have a much better chance of winning later on. We are actually faster. This is a Spideff Heatran. So we want to get as much damage as we can later on. While keeping rocks off of our side. Um, here, Venusaur looks like a good switch in. Double to Heatran is the play now. Or, double to our Maldo. Double to our Maldo here. But he goes Scizor, so maybe double to Heatran was the play. But that's still, still pretty fine. I can just go Torkoal here now. As he actually just straight up superpowers predicting Heatran. That's kind of crazy. Um, I can probably just set up rocks here actually. Probably set up rocks here. He brings in Heatran so we can use this as an opportunity to... Um, we can Heatran even more with our Earth Power. Or nice Earth Power. He actually clicks Toxic here so... We'll get to get we'll get to um, get off a bunch of damage on this thing. I don't know if he'll switch out here or not, but yeah, he, he actually sacks it. He sacks it versus Sun. That is phenomenal. I have to probably defog to get rid of my own rocks, but I can get him back up. That's no problem. I only click rocks to make him want to stay in. Um, he brings in Landers here. I'm going to my own as he tries to earthquake. Then I just boom here, I think. Unless this thing is scarfed, in which case I don't want to U-turn, which I think is the much better play. And uh, Eruption probably actually does a ton of damage right now if I click it. Um, though I kind of want to get rid of rocks first. And there are only three, three turns of sun left. So I think I'm just going to defog first. As he tries to knock off, so he gets rid of my item. Which is actually perfectly fine now that um, his Heatran's gone. I am pretty free to just go Venusaur. Put in the finest to work. But he goes Greninja. Um, this is, I think, where we just sack Torkoal. Or actually, we, we can even go back to Finny. But uh, I can just go Torkoal here. Should be fine. He actually gunk shots, predicting Finny. So this is actually a Protean Greninja, Protean set. So I kind of like, uh, <laughs> I kind of like Armaldo now, as he tries to gunk shot again. Hey, it's about that time. Let's start. Uh, let's start cursing up. Let's start cursing up. Uh, I, I think also maybe even Venusaur is a good switch in here too. I want to see though if I can sweep with Armaldo, that'd be so nice. That'd be so nice. It's actually doable. <laughs> it's actually possible too. I don't know if he's going to try to SD up here or what. No, he's going to bullet punch again. 
All right, let's Rock Blast. Let's get some damage off now. Plus three, 735 attack. Oh, he, he actually SDs up here, which I think we should be out of range too. We only got two. That's, that's, that's it? Come on. I need more than that. Yeah, I need more than that. Come on now. One, two. This guy's too lucky. <laughs> this guy's too lucky. Um, okay. This thing could be offensive. He goes Tangrowth here. I can't believe Armaldo only got two rock, the just two blasts. That's it. I was hoping for like five. It's a pretty heat move though. Oh, we're out here living. We out we are out here living every hit. Check these plays out. Only making the finest of plays. This is where I Z move on the Tangrowth, expecting he might just try to stay in an attack. But the Z move should knock it out for sure. There it is, nice. Nice, nice. Lando's looking kind of weak too. Goes into Greninja. He could probably outrun me though, if he was Scarfed, but he's not. <laughs> I don't know if Scarf outruns me though. I'm not sure. I assume it might, but now he goes Landris here, so I assume now he's going to probably try to click boom. We're going to go into our own Landris as he booms. Nice. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Back into Venusaur we go to win the game. And that's looking like a GG. It is indeed Envy. If we had gotten at least, if we had gotten Three Rock Blasts though. I think Armaldo might have had a chance to uh, knock out a few months. But hey, it's still putting in more work than I anticipated, so that's good. It most certainly is. Especially the first game where we got to see it knock out like half the team. Curse Chinese Armaldo. It's truly, truly a sight to behold. All right, this guy's team is pretty offensive, pretty offensive team. Thankfully, my Torco lead is just what I ask for because he's a Rocks lead drill and I can go here for the Lava Plume. And, uh, ooh, okay. No burn, no burn. Yep, Rapid Spin here, well-timed Rapid Spin to prevent that anything from happening. But he actually got up his Rocks, so we will need an emergency plan to defog at some point. So I gotta use my sun up as much as I can. Greninja comes in here. Oh, Sash Grin. And he's Protean too. So I got two turns left of the sun. So I think I just Giga Drain here, or HP, yeah, Giga Drain's fine. I expect Koma O to go in now, because it's what, Bulletproof? We're still faster than a Shift Gear Beginner as well, so it's kind of looking pretty nice. Uh, Como O is what I thought he'd bring. Acid Downpour here is the play, I think. So we can uh, obliterate or do a ton of damage to this Como O. One turn of sun left now. Giga Drain will pick it off. Perfect, perfect. Because Sludge Bomb is um, not doing anything to it because of Bulletproof. So we needed that damage there. Now comes Magirna, right? Now comes Magirna. In which case we will uh, we will go Tapu Fini. 
we will now click defog. Okay, so combine shift gear. That's good information, I think. Shift gears again. I think Keytrain can live a plus two Thunderbolt. Pretty sure. Pretty sure Heatrain can live. And Lava Plume. Yeah, it does live. Nice. This should knock it out. Beautiful, beautiful damage. Extremely good damage. Um, Lava Plume here. We'll just keep breaking the sub on this thing. We also have an Armaldo in the back. <laughs> Happy enough to say we have our model in the back there. Hey, just because you have a Mega now doesn't mean you're going to be sitting behind my sub. <laughs> it's, it's not going to happen. Nice damage. And we still have our Scarfed Lando T, which we can now U-turn into our Armaldo with. And uh, simply click Rock Blast here. Oh, that's not even enough. Chinese EV spreads come through. That's the spadef that we have there, allowing us not to get too KO'd by Thunderous. <laughs> Focus Blast. Oh, I missed? Nah, we're saving you, Armaldo. We're saving you. We are definitely saving you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Nice. Nice. Good game. Good game indeed. Then we got time for like... Uh, like one or two more. Depending on the length of the game. Hey, they're using Decidueye. I brought uh, I brought um, Araquanid plus Decidueye on my other team. That's what I like to see. Okay, okay. So it's probably going to be an Araquanid lead, right? Unfortunately, actually Rock Blast to do a ton. Maybe I'll save Armaldo. Armaldo's looking kind of clean for this uh, matchup. Looking kind of nice. Hmm. I don't know what else to leave it though, so I'm going to lead Armaldo actually. Try to get as much damage as I can. Is this Envy? Hello. It is indeed myself. It is. So, okay, actually, in this case, in this example, <laughs> I think I'm going to lead with um, Tapu Fini. And then switch out here into Torkoal. I like I like this heat though. See, I I knew this was an inspired. It's a nice, nice inspired heat. Nice inspired heat. Both switches here. That's fine. I appreciate it. Then he goes drill. This is probably his rocker. I assume he's clicking rocks here. Nope. But we lived. Well calced, well calced. So I can see him clicking rocks. He actually rock tombs though. However, we are still faster and we can just click U-turn. Preventing rocks from going up on our side, which is going to be extremely essential for our game. It kind of looks like I could click Eruption with Heatran, doesn't it? It kind of looks like I can just click Eruption versus um, versus anything. Except maybe not this Braviary because it probably has Superpower and Defiant. <laughs> and Defiant. Ooh, that might be tough. Oh, he's actually Z-Move all that pummeling. I absolutely got obliterated by... Uh, I would have absolutely got obliterated by that if I stayed in. Good information, good information. 
So he goes hard Tapu Koko. We get some damage off, which is fantastic. He's going to roost though. As what I can do is just U-turn out, predicting him to go Zard or Braviary, but he actually stays in. He, he might click HPIs here, but... I think Finny's a, a, a safe option. Yep. Yep, yep. Back into Lando I go. On the Volt Switch. This time I U-turn out again. I think he the reason that he's staying in is probably because he has Shucka Berry. Which is why he wants to click HP Ice. Uh, versus me. Which kind of makes sense. But this kind of looks like a pretty free Rock Blast now, doesn't it? We'll take less damage because of the... Um, we got rid of the terrain. This is looking kind of nice. This is UI. Okay, let's see how much damage this does. One, two, three. Okay, solid three. He already used up his Z-move on Braviary, so... Don't gotta worry about that. Spirit Shackles traps me. That does a ton of damage, though. Give me my fortune. Nice. And speaking of fortune, we got four hits. <laughs> we got four hits off on that one. So in comes Charizard now. We don't know what set this Charizard is. Don't know what set it is. However, I think it is in our best interest. I could Rock Blast again, but I don't know if he's X or Y. It kind of looks like Zard X to me. So I'm going to go Torkoal. He just Flare Blitzes. That's actually pretty good for us. Uh, what do I do now? I think I just go Lando T. I think Stone Edge here. And we can hit the Braviary for a lot of damage too. Not sure if he'll want to stay in though. Or Arachnid actually, that's pretty good too. Get a ton of damage on that. Um, hit him up again, knock him out. Tap Goku comes back. I assume he'd Volt Switch here. I have my son up. I have my son so we can now proceed to clicking uh, Z moves. Braviary comes in. We can Z-move this. This should uh, actually Oko this thing. I I think. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Excellent. Earthquake is pretty free now versus his team. Sludge Bomb should be a 2-hit KO versus Charizard, I assume. Yep, there's 57. Uh, Dragon Dance does not matter. We're still faster. And that's going to be GG. So it's good to face familiar faces. Definitely good to face familiar faces. GG, thank you for the game. Yeah, and it was a good game too. We got to see Armaldo putting in um, some work here and there, you know. Getting it uh, to have a knockout. So, fantastic, fantastic. And what are we at right now? I think, yeah, this is where we're going to end it off here. We, uh, we, I think we just swept everybody. <laughs> we just, we just uh, ran through everyone's team with this team um it's a good team though it's a very strong team um but i thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed this uh, video get to see armaldo clicking buttons uh, here and there is always fun and especially the chinese ev spread that it had but it definitely came in handy when surviving certain hits um but yeah feel free to suggest what you want to see next i am mainly focusing on pokemon like i said i always say this at the end but i'm, I'm like as it as it is right now you know with sword and shield around the corner Want to focus on mons that we might not see in that game. And um, Armaldo was one of them. The last one that we did, was, which was um, which was our Relicanth was one of them. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to, uh, I guess, prioritize certain mons that I firstly have not done, period. Secondly, that I well, that we'll probably not be seeing later on. But, yeah, that's going to be that. I will look forward to hearing from you all. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.